Well hey there YouTuber, welcome to a Valentine's Day face painting tutorial. For this face painting tutorial, I will show you how to do a face paint design that I call Puppy Love. Why is it called Puppy Love? Well it's called Puppy Love because I'm going to be taking the original puppy dog design and turning it into something that you can use for Valentine's Day. Perhaps after this video, you might want to go buy some face paints of your own if you don't have any and paint your kids' faces as a fun Valentine's Day activity. Well, what face paints do I use? I use a face paint that comes from the UK. It's called Snazaroo. It's hypoallergenic, so that means it's very friendly for anyone's face, um, especially kids' faces. For this video, I'm going to be using a small range of face painting brushes. So um, I would recommend if you want to face paint, just use any kind of brush that doesn't have a hard bristle, um, something that obviously is safe for the face. Now on to the face painting. Hey YouTubers, this is my lovely assistant, my sister Madison. <laughs> so for this first part, I'm going to be using a sponge and Snazzer is white. And then, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the paint and the sponge wet and mix it together. So that's how, that's how you get Snazaroo going here. And I like to use brushes when doing full color. So I'm gonna be using my large flat brush and white still. The more water, the thinner your paint will be. The less water, the thicker. For this next part, I'm still going to use my large flat-headed brush, but I'm going to switch color to Snazaroo's pink. So to make a heart, you want two full rounded tops here, like this. So just by twisting your brush like I'm doing here, you want them very full. And then at the end, you bring it to a point. So I'm just bringing this down the face. And inside here, add a point. Okay. And if you don't own any of your own Snazzer at home, you can go to a local craft store. And I know um, Hobby Lobby has some. If you have a Hobby Lobby where you live, perhaps you might want to go check that out. If you want to buy some of this, do it on Valentine's Day, since that's coming up soon. They have a variety of colors in a small packet, and that's enough to paint a whole face. So, you can get that. They sell it online. That's one of the best places to get it, to get large quantities online. I don't know of any craft stores that sell in large quantities. And plus, it comes from the UK, so... Yeah. Supporting the Brits. And so the traditional puppy dog face, instead of having a heart, has just a regular circle for the spot. So this one, to make it more like Valentine's Day, has a heart, which is perfect, right? More hearts, one up here, a small one right here, and a medium sized one. I'm still using my large flat. Doesn't she make a perfect model? <laughs> Look for her in a few years. She'll be on billboards. My billboards. <laughs> now, for the next part. For the next part, I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to use my large round one, but it's smaller than the flat large headed brush. And I'll be using black, so I'm going to be doing nose. Like I said, this would be a perfect design to do for your kids on Valentine's Day. And I know I'm adding pink hearts, but you could do red hearts if you want to do it for a boy. Now I'm going to use a finer brush. It's going to be my small round. It's kind of like this one, but it's smaller. Right when we get to the 
point, we go out and we curve. That looks like a mustache now. Okay, so I'm not going to use a dotting tool for the um, for the dots, but I'm going to use the same brush I just used for the curves here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press down lightly and kind of twist like this. It makes perfect dots actually. So you don't even need a daughter. Like, I wouldn't even worry about buying a daughter. Because really, if you can make a perfect dot with a brush, you don't need a daughter. That's one last brush you'd have to use. I'm going to add the red highlights first before I do the tongue. Okay, so I'm going to use the same small round brush that I used for this black. And I'm going to add little highlights of red in the hearts. Not too many, just a few. You don't want too much red on your brush because then it won't fade into the heart very well. It'll be more like a mark than a highlight. Okay, so next I'm going to take my large flat in the pink and just paint over her lips since she's a girly puppy. Kind of defines the lips a bit here. Just be careful of your black. So once you get black on a light color, it's hard to get off unless you take it off. Okay, next we're going to do the tongue. Want a good shape for the tongue? If you don't want your tongue too dark, don't add as much paint. It won't be as dark. It'll just be a light, kind of like a, kind of like the, uh, what do you call those? The highlights. It'll just be a faded little thing that you'll see that'll add to the design. For this, you don't want as much. And if you think you got too much on your brush, then just dab it on a paper towel. That'll look good. See, this is the exact color you want. Something dark, but not too dark. Just enough to where you can see that's the tongue. This kind of has a fleshy tone to it because if you curve your brush, the lines from your strokes will kind of give it a dimension of it being curved. So I'm going to take my thinnest brush, which is the fine liner, and my black, dip it in, get a little black on there, and on the tongue you want a very fine line because it's almost like an, another highlight. So you hardly want to notice and you want to curve for the contour of the tongue, so make it, it makes it look like a tongue. Okay, and I'm going to add some little girly touches here. Some eyelashes on the edge. Remember using the fine brush. Just gonna add three of them to the end here. Looks pretty good. I like it. So by adding the black up on the top it kind of defines where the eyes are. And I would say I smudged the tongue earlier, but that's fine. Just add, I'll dip my finger in the white. Add a little more white over right here. Just kind of dab, and it blends it in perfectly so you can't until I kind of smudge the Go around the tongue here. Just a little line, it's not a total thick line. Just kind of define where the tongue is. So this is the Puppy Love Dog Face, and I will have any information that you may need for all this in the description area of this video. Thank you for watching.